We're breeders of purebred golden retrievers, Scottish terriers, and standard poodles. All of our dogs are Canadian Kennel Club registered as purebreds, and our puppies are shipped coast to coast across Canada. When people are looking at shipping their puppies, there's often a lot of questions, a lot of apprehension, and a great deal of detail in getting our puppies from our home to yours, safely, securely, and with great confidence. COVID hasn't made flying puppies any easier, that's for sure. And this story of Max and Marty's 4,000 kilometer journey from Regina, Saskatchewan to Prince Edward Island shows how they have encountered just about the worst possible of all conditions, but they still arrive safe and sound. So watch and see. They travel in partnership with WestJet Airlines or CargoJet, and also with the help of the International Animal Lounge, where there are facilities in Calgary or in Toronto, so that if puppies have connecting flights and they need that extra time to be comfortable, fed, dry, clean, it's the Animal Lounge people who help us out. And it all starts on a cold, wintry day on the Canadian prairie. Okay, lighting's not great, but here we go. Two golden retriever puppies ready to travel from Regina, Saskatchewan to Prince Edward Island. We're up early and headed for the airport. It's quiet in the country this time of day. The moon is shining. busiest time. There's uh, not much going on around this part of the airport. The warehouse terminal is a shared terminal uh, between WestJet and CargoJet. Both companies provide services that will allow me to transport puppies to the, the families they're going to. And these guys are just so good at what they do. I'm always grateful when I drop off puppies here because I know they're going to be handled well. so quiet coming in. The Scotty pups I brought in last week were a lot more vocal in there, expressing their disapproval of being in a kennel and on the road. They settled down eventually, but it took a while. Here we go. I'll just come and take a quick little 
clip of the babies. Hi puppies. Yeah. Hi puppies. in PEI and let her know that the puppies were all checked in. It's all good to go. We've got good weather here in Regina and hopefully the, uh, the weather will hold up right across the country. There's snow expected again in Prince Edward Island but not until tomorrow night. So with any luck we'll have uh, good speed behind their travels and they'll be with their new families tomorrow night. We knew when the pups left that there was a storm brewing in the east. And by the time the pups made their connecting flight into Toronto, unfortunately, the connecting flight out the next morning to Charlottetown was cancelled, as were all further flights for the foreseeable future. This is Annie, Max and Marty's sister, who's very grateful for the fact that she hasn't had to travel great distances to get to her family because Annie's going to stay here with us permanently. However, what happened was in Toronto, we had to work with WestJet to find a flight alternative. The flights into Charlottetown were canceled the next day indefinitely. And that meant getting the puppies to Halifax, where my son who lives in Nova Scotia was able to go and meet the plane, pick up Max and Marty and deliver them by meeting with their new family. Molly. Er, sorry. Molly. 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 Molly.